Hey YouTube, it's Jen. So today I have my fond farewell for the month of April. If you're new to these types of videos, these are products I have used up during the month of whatever video I'm talking about, so in this case, April. And I just kind of tell you how I liked it, um, how it performed, if it's a candle, and just kind of my general little overview review of the product. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'll start off with antibacterial. I finished an aromatherapy soap in lavender chamomile. I really like these aromatherapy soaps. They are super strong, so if you don't like really scented items, steer clear, but I really like lavender chamomile. I think it's a great scent. It's calming, it's soothing, it's a little bit herbal. It's just great. So I really like that. I also used up a foaming hand soap in Paris Amour. You really can't go wrong with Paris Amour. It's just such a nice, girly, fruity scent. I, I love it. It's one of my all-time favorites. And last but not least was Mango Berry Sparkler. And this I didn't really detect much mango, and because I'm not the biggest mango fan, but what I did detect was this almost kind of like a fruit medley, almost like a mixed fruity drink. It smelled really nice, and it was really light and fresh for the bathroom. I also have some body care to show you. I finished up, um, finally, my Bath & Body Works Pleasures Cherry Blossom Volumizing Shampoo. This took quite a long time to use up. You really only needed a tiny bit. It foams up really well. Um, you definitely use this up a lot slower than the conditioner. I felt like I sped through that, but I really liked what this did. It didn't really volumize my hair at all, but it cleaned it well. Um, I didn't weigh it down, um, and it made my hair smell fantastic. So I really liked this, and if you ever catch them on sale, I would say go ahead and get them, but don't pay the $7.50 per bottle or whatever it costs. I think that's a bit much um, because it doesn't... Like I said, it's not truly volumizing. It's just a nice scented shampoo. I think I got this for 3 or $4 at the outlet. I finished up some body washes. I finished up two mini uh, white citrus shower gels. I had just gotten these at the outlet very recently. I love white citrus in the shower. It's just so crisp and clean. It kind of wakes you up. It's just a really nice scent to have. And then I also finished up an Enchanted Orchid, which is kind of an older scent, and I absolutely love it. It's very... Um, floral, but with a hint of almost like a powdery note. It's really feminine and pretty, and I enjoyed this one as well. I also finished up a Secret Wonderland Creamy Body Wash. I don't use this as a body wash. I actually use this as a shave cream, and it works really well for me. Um, it just kind of helps me get a nice smooth shave, so I really enjoyed it. And going with the theme of Secret Wonderland, I finished up a full-size lotion. I just I love the way Secret Wonderland smells on me. I'm so sad it's getting discontinued. Um, well, I think it might be an online exclusive. I don't know for sure, but you won't be able to get this in stores anymore. And it's just, uh, it's just such a nice, pretty scent, especially for the winter. Uh, I believe this originally came out in, in the winter time, and it's just, it's very cozy, but it still has a nice fruity note too. It's just a hint of musk. It's perfect. And so, to go with the lotion, I layered my Moonlight Magic Spray. And for those of you who remember this dinosaur, this was a limited edition scent way back in the day. And it is the exact same scent as Moonlight, um, as <laughs> Secret Wonderland. They discontinued this. There is a huge uproar among fans because everyone loved it. Everyone was clamoring to get this. So they said, oh, crap, well, we better get this scent back out. So they came out with Secret Wonderland. Same thing. Worked well for me because I could layer. So that's gone. Then I also finished up one more um, full-size spray, and this was my Lemon Vanilla from the Signature Vanillas collection. I love this scent, and I, the sprays, I believe, are discontinued, which is kind of sad, but I figured there's no use of me just keeping it around in my collection for show. So I went ahead and used it up. I just kind of kept this on my dresser for when I wanted a quick spritz, um, and it was nice. It's a nice sugary lemon scent with a hint of vanilla, so really great and fresh for summer. Okay, now onto my last little section, which is home fragrance. I did use one tart from Yankee Candle, and I loved it. It is green grass. Green grass. It smelled just like green grass. It was super strong. It filled up my whole condo, and it just it smelled great. Um, this is a little different from Bath & Body Works' green grass. I almost smell kind of like a soapy note to it. It's not pure green grass, but it smells great. So it's like fresh laundry mixed with a fresh cut lawn. It, it's perfect for spring and summer. I finished up two mini candles. I have a mini vanilla bean Noel. This actually had really decent throw for such a little candle. I was really impressed. 
Then I also finished up an Aloha Vanilla, which is an older candle, and this just smells like a really sweet tropical vanilla. And decent throat, again, not as good as the Vanilla Bean Noel, though. I finished up an aromatherapy candle in lavender chamomile. Again, I just love the scent. It's really calming, really soothing, um, not too sweet, but just a touch of herbalness to it. I love it. And this burned really well, evenly all the way down, no soot, and the throw was great. I also finished up a candle from Yankee. This was one of their Marshalls candles, and I got it for $9.99. It's one of their three wick tumblers. And this is Island Spa, just in a different label. I love this one. It's very, it's just a spa fragrance. You get a lot of herb with a little bit of floral. It's just really, really nice. And I like these. This um, burned really well, as you can see, and had a great throat. So I really liked that. And last but not least is Pineapple Orchid. And you're wondering, well, this candle clearly doesn't look like it's been burned. Well, I tried burning it, and it was a total dud. It just, the wicks were awful. I could not get it to, um, get the whole candle, the whole wax pool going. Two of the wicks drowned every time I tried to light it. It was so frustrating. But I bought this so long ago, I just did not feel right bringing it back. I just, I know a lot of you guys do that, and that's okay. But for me personally, I just don't feel right bringing back a candle I bought like two or three years ago. So what I did is I put it on my candle warmer. I melted it down, and I got a pretty good throw out of it, and I kept using it till I could get um, no scent out of the wax anymore. So it worked out fine. I still got to enjoy the wonderful scent of pineapple orchid. To me, pineapple orchid really smells like a pink starburst. I've always gotten that from pineapple orchid. It's just a great scent. So, I, like I said, I really enjoyed this candle, even though I didn't get to burn it like I wanted to. So those are my fond farewells for the month of April. If you guys do any empty videos, put a video response so I can connect and see it. And Or if you just want to tell me any fun products you used up, anything cool that stood out to you that you really enjoyed, let me know. I'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.